Hey, so this is a quick video tutorial on a uh, effect or effect that I figured out in Logic. Um, it's kind of a nice glitchy thing going on. So uh, this is Logic Pro 9, by the way. So I'm gonna open it up. Uh, we're gonna use this. Oh wait, audio. No, go there. Bad computer. Okay. So I'm just gonna load up the beginning of. Technologic, and by Daft Punk. Uh, this should be it. Let's see. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it. Okay, actually this is the full song, but uh, obviously you can cut it down to this beginning to remix. So, this effect, um, we're just going to stick in a sample delay. And we're going to link the left and right. Then we're gonna come down here to automations and we're gonna move it to sample delay and delay left, okay? And over here, get the pencil tool and just go berserk. Uh, this is, you can obviously do a lot more than just this, go in more definition and stuff. This is just to give an example of what you can do. And when we play it now, What's going to happen is it's going to, the audio is going to stay in the same place. So if you put a beat behind it, it's going to start and stop on the same place. But what it's going to do is it's going to modulate kind of where it's starting and stopping within the audio. So here we go. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, map, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, kick, quit, erase, hide it, edit, paste it. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, map, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it. Yeah, so you kind of get a, a glitchy effect without actually, you know, glitching the, the audio. Because um, it's nice because the audio, again, it stays in the same place. So if you already have it synced up with a beat, you don't have to screw around with that. So that's a pain in the butt. Um, and you can obviously unlink them and then go to delay right and do something here too. The only problem is then it creates kind of a, a stereo effect, which is great, but then you know, kidding gives it a wider sound. But once you get done, um, if you go back to both of them just being, you know, not glitchy, it's gonna sound, you know, it's going back to like kind of the mono, quote unquote, um, and it won't sound as good. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it. Because it sounds, I don't know if you can hear it, uh, this, because I think it's just a mono microphone, but, there's, it sounds like there's a voice on the right and a voice on the left, and they're both very distinct from each other. But then when you, if you were to bypass this some point in time or sync these two delays back up to the same place, it's going to sound like one voice again coming from both the, the left and right. Um, so it's going to basically sound like you went from mono to stereo, or stereo to mono. So it's not as, as good of an effect. I like just going with just the linking them and just going with the left or just the right. But uh, anyway, so that's the idea. Kind of give you a glitchy sound. Um, yeah, have fun with it.